The question I just got is, if I sent an email to the wrong person, how do I get it back? I'm going to show you what you can do, what you can't do, and the options you have in this video. But before I do, hit the subscribe and notify button. That's all I ever ask for. This happens all the time. And back in 2001, a lawyer that, uh, working for a company that I worked for inadvertently sent the chapter 11 draft documents out to all employees instead of all executives. Back in the day when we had a uh, list in uh, Outlook and in Microsoft Exchange for all employees and all the email addresses and all executives, all in HR, et cetera, et cetera. He sent out the wrong email he shouldn't have sent. Started a whole bunch of chaos and he didn't even know it. Five o'clock sent it and left. So, but if we're sending emails to people in Google Workspace or Gmail, can we get it back? The answer is maybe. And let me show you what you have to do in order to make that happen. First of all, you have to go to settings and go to see all settings. This is Google Workspace and Gmail. And you got to scroll down to where it says undo send. Now, if you're prone to sending out emails that you wish you had to send, I would go for 30 second period. I'm not really a prone for that, so I'm going to go with a 10 second just so I can demonstrate what that means. And by the way, if you change anything on this page, scroll all the way to the bottom and make sure you hit save. And I haven't changed anything yet. So let's go back to email. So I'm going to send an email to my buddy. I'm going to send it to Teddy Burris at BurrisConsulting.com. I'm going to say, hey, dude, what's up? Let's talk. Now watch what happens when I hit send. Boom. Look over here. Message sent. Undo or view message. Now I can hit undo. And the message is back. The never, message never sent. It was within that 10 second grace period that that message showed up down there and gave me the opportunity to call it back. Let's talk about business. And now if I send it, and if I wait more than 10 seconds, I'm not going to be able to bring it back, and it's too late. I'm going to show you what happens. With, I'm going to sit here and wait for 10 seconds. Boom, it went away. Message, I can view message. This message has been sent. There is no way to recall it at this point. I can look over here. I can delete it. But there's no get it back. You only have that grace period of whatever you set, 5, 10, 20, 30 seconds. The best thing I can do now is reply back to Teddy and go, dude, I'm sorry I didn't mean to send this to you. We all have gotten those messages. But again, the only way I can recall a message is if under see all settings, undo send, I had this set for enough time for me to go, oh my God, I didn't mean to do that. By the way, the, the, I don't know what the default is, but the minimum is five and the maximum is 30. And what's 30 seconds? Unless you're sending life-altering messages that have to change people's lives immediately, you know, 30 seconds is not the end of the world. But in a general nature, I think 10 seconds gives us plenty of time to make a decision of whether or not we sent the right message or not, and do we need to get it back? And if we need to get it back, I've got 10 seconds to hit undo and bring it back and make a decision to change it, edit it, or get rid of it. I'm Teddy, your Google Workspace and Gmail strategist, trainer, and coach. I hope that's helpful for you.